Hebrews 13, 1-2 Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Like many other Christians I have known, I liked watching Touched by an Angel. It's not perfect, but it's more wholesome and uplifting than a lot of shows these days. There is one episode that Monica asks the question, Why is it that when you talk to God, you're praying, but when God talks to you, you're nuts? This may be the deepest and most profound point ever made on that entire series. Because the Bible tells us that we could have times when we may entertain angels, I do believe angelic visits are still possible, though I expect they are rare or often go unnoticed. God spoke through angels many times in the Bible, but as far as I know, I have not personally experienced this yet, so there isn't a lot I can say about it other than that I believe it can and does happen, and we should not reject all such events as false. But we should test these spirits to know whether they are of God or not. If they are of God, they will not contradict scripture or lie. They will confess that Jesus is the only Savior, and that He was crucified and died and was resurrected in the flesh, and that He lives and is now at the right hand of the Father. Any spirit that denies these truths from scripture is false and a deceiving spirit. Do not trust such a spirit. Luke 24, 1-7 Now upon the first day of the week, very early in the morning, they came unto the sepulchre, bringing the spices which they had prepared, and certain others with them. And they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre, and they entered in, and found not the body of the Lord Jesus. And it came to pass... As they were much perplexed thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, but is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee, saying, The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men, and be crucified, and the third day rise again. One of the functions of the angels is to deliver messages from God to people. In fact, the word angel means messenger, according to Strong's Concordance. Angels do not have wings. The typical statue that is called an angel, which is a woman wearing a long flowing gown and has dove-like wings, is actually based on the Roman goddess Victoria. In other words, this is a false goddess and an idol, not an angel of God. Any time you see an angel of God being mentioned in the Bible, it always looks like a man. There are other creatures in the Bible that do have wings, but they do not resemble the typical angel statue either. Colossians 2:18 through 19 Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility, and worshipping of angels, intruding into those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head, from which all the body by joints and bands having nourishment ministered and knit together, increaseth with the increase of God. Revelation 19, 9-10 And he, the angel, saith unto me, Write, Blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And I fell at his feet and worshipped him. And he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God, for the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. We must not worship angels. God is the one we are to worship. Angels worship and serve God. God can send them to deliver messages, or to free believers from a prison, or to protect a person from danger, or to fight in the spiritual war between heaven and hell. But only God is worthy of our worship. 
Revelation 8, 3-4 And another angel came and stood at the altar, having a golden censer, and there was given unto him much incense, that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar, which was before the throne. And the smoke of the incense which came with the prayers of the saints ascended up before God out of the angel's hand. Our prayers are also offered to God alone. We must not pray to angels. God alone is worthy of all our worship, prayer, and our fullest and undivided devotion. Psalm 8, 4 through 5. What is man that thou art mindful of him, and the son of man that thou visitest him? For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Brothers and sisters, don't be deceived. Angels are the ministers of God. We are only a little lower than they are. They are holy and sinless, and we are not. They stand in the presence of God and are able to see Him face to face. We cannot see Him in the fullness of His glory yet. Although we have Him in us, we do not stand in heaven yet, seeing Him as He is. Don't give your prayers or your worship to angels. God said in Isaiah 42.8, I am the Lord, that is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. He won't give his glory or praise to angels either. They are his servants, even as we are. Above us, yes, but only God is King of kings and Lord of lords. Maybe you realize you have not been giving him your worship and praise, and you know it's time you start worshiping him as he deserves to be worshiped. That starts with repentance of sin, turning away from it and turning to Jesus for forgiveness and salvation. That starts with a simple little prayer like this. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins and that you rose again the third day. I repent of my sins, so please forgive me for my sins and come into my heart and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life and live for you, so I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Get a Bible and start reading it to learn more of his will, so you can live out his holiness in your life. If you have ever wished you could read the story of Jesus' life from all four Gospels chronologically, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie. You can check it out at any of these websites, also included in the video description. Thank you for watching. May you be devoted to and worship God alone.